This is Access Houston on 97.9 The Box. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth. Uh, welcoming back my guy, president of the Greater Houston Frontiers Club, Mr. Donnell Cooper. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning, morning, KG. How got, you doing? How I'm you doing? Good. Got some company here. Got too. some company. Uh, some good also company. Also, welcoming back. He's been on the program as as well, uh, under a different capacity. But uh, glad to see him, Mr. Roger Brown. Good morning and welcome. Good morning, KG. Yeah, go ahead, pull that mic on up so the folks can hear you now. There you go. Okay, <laughs> so we are getting ready for the Greater Houston Frontiers Club. This is the 25th annual golf tournament presented by uh, UPS this year. Um, Man, for those who may not, you know, a lot of people may not know what you all do. Correct. So, and so again, uh, just want to thank you again for KG and Radio One for all of your support. We are here again supporting our 25th annual golf tournament. It's going to be hosted this year on March the 5th, uh, sponsored by UPS, our presenting sponsor. Uh, and we're going to be this year at Herman Park. So we're very excited this year because we're mm-hmm. probably one of the last 10, 15 years that we're coming back to Harris County. Uh, We normally are hosting this tournament on the outskirts of the Houston area. Mm -hmm. And so we're very excited that we're bringing the tournament back to Herman Park. But most importantly, we're swinging for a call. So we're swinging for scholarships. Uh, All of our proceeds for the scholarships uh, go towards our scholarships. will be hosted in May, our annual gala. And we're still targeting uh, to give away $30,000 this year uh, in scholarship funding. So I definitely want to thank my co-host today, uh, Mr. Roddy Brown, uh, and all that he's doing uh, on behalf of UPS uh, for allowing us the opportunity uh, to be our presenting sponsor for March the 5th. Indeed. And and, and how did UPS uh, get involved? Or, or, or how did you uh, get UPS involved? Well, really? you know, for, for me, it's really been just a partnership we've had over the years with the MLK Breakfast. Mm-hmm. And for that standpoint, uh, I think the huge benefit is that on his board uh, for Greater Houston Frontiers Club, we have some retirees from UPS, mm-hmm. and we also have a current employee as well. So the match kind of quite fits nicely, uh, but I think more importantly, the cause, and it's the education piece that uh, I tagged on too. So we'll be giving a scholarship away uh, at the golf event uh, on Monday. Uh, I look forward to that because anytime you can uh, help a kid's education, uh, we're all in. Yeah, and isn't that seem? I I feel as if now that I'm older and you know I've done my homework and and looking back at history, I feel like the fight for education has always been here. It's always been the fight. Mm-hmm. I mean, either from from slavery to present day. Correct. Uh, when I read up more on the civil rights movement, I was like, oh, at its core, the civil rights movement was about. Education. That's right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the importance of it, and 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 what you all are, are doing to help continue to champion that. Talk about that. Definitely. Well, you know, Great Eastern Frontiers. We're proud to say that we've given over two million dollars in scholarships. You know, over our thirty year history, and uh, it's not how many, many. How much? Over two million dollars. Oh, okay. Ooh. Okay. And so you know, I, I don't not, know. I, I think you said two hundred. Like, oh my goodness, <laughs> Jesus, Lord, you're working. Hey, we're working. There's a special working. place in hey, heaven. Hey, we're still y'all. working. That's a hard. That's a hard work to get two million. Yeah, uh, and again, uh, but again, we, we're just uh, proud to have dedicated volunteers who are who are taking time out of their schedules. Um, uh, to make sure that this cause, you know, is, is most important. You know, so many students here in Harris County are approaching college with no funding mm-hmm. or not knowing where to even apply uh, for a college opportunity. And so uh, upon my leadership, we've also incorporated a junior uh, community college scholarship as well. And so you don't necessarily have to be a part of a four-year institution. You could also want to get a kickoff at a community college as well. So we have a designated scholarship funding for that opportunity as well. Uh, typically, we have over 180 students that apply, mm-hmm. and through an essay component and an interview process. Get ready for that to go up, and I'm saying that off the strength of Black Panther, but go ahead. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> but again, uh, we narrow that that process down between the essay and the interview down to 30 students. So very, very hard, hard process. Uh, I have a lot of members who decide that they don't want to be a part of the scholarship interview panel because the student stories are uh, they just so, so, so uh, magnificent in regards to the struggle. Mm-hmm. And going back to your, your recent comment about what they've had to overcome. Mm-hmm. Uh, to be that top five, ten percent uh, tile student, and so uh, you know we, we're all about the cause. And so again, we know it's a golf opportunity, uh, but we want people to look beyond the golf and the fellowship about right. 
the purpose of why we're raising these funds. Indeed. And, Roger, this isn't your first uh, golf tournament, no? No, it's not. Uh, we have uh, done some other golf tournaments, Red Cat Jazz. Uh, but, but the reason why this is so important is that uh, UPS has always been behind education, not only for just the community, but for our own employees. You know, we offer uh, tuition reimbursement for all of our employees. Oh, nice. Uh, which is, is, is something that tags on to uh, what the Greater Houston uh, Frontiers Club is trying to do. And, and the piece that I like about it is that not only are they just trying to give scholarships, it's the direction and the coaching that they get along the way, the mentoring. And, mm-hmm. and, and a lot of people, I don't think, got that until the MLK breakfast where they took a different direction and they actually stated uh, or, or staged all of the um, – uh, previous winners or, or scholarship recipients mm-hmm. to come and talk yeah. and tell their story. Once you hear that story, that connection, then it, it clicks. Yeah. And, and I think that was the biggest uh, plus. You know, normally they have a big name to come and speak, but to have your own folks talk about, you know, this is how it's helped, helped me, me. Yeah. that's big. So yeah. to latch on to that, to be a part of it, to give a scholarship along with it, yeah. and to partner up with these guys, I mean, it, it's just a, a match made in heaven. Yeah, uh, Donnell, I have to say that I I thoroughly enjoyed the breakfast Thank on you. that uh, great MLK morning and uh, the talk around at least our table. Um, that's the best thing y'all could have done. Yeah, yeah. Have the kids speak themselves. Let these donors see where um, their money has gone and how these kids have used um, these scholarships. That was the best thing you all could have yeah, done. Definitely. I and thoroughly I, enjoyed that. Yeah, and I, and I think that they had people kind of, well, hey, you don't have anybody speaking this year? I, I think it was a lot of <laughs> up in the air. It was. But I think at the end of the day, it was a big win for it you was. all. So it was. I, I think that decision yeah. to do that, to bring back your product of what you've worked on mm-hmm. for the years, yeah. that was a, a huge bonus for your organization. Definitely. Mm-hmm. You know, and, that's, and that's been one of my focal points is really trying to showcase to the community and, to, and most important to our corporate partners about the investment. You know, because, again, you know, we're just one of the many nonprofits mm-hmm. who are searching for, you know, a scholarship or a donation. Uh, but, again, I feel that our cause is so, so, you know, so, so important. So what better way to show over 30 year period uh, to show our future uh, and, and allow them that opportunity to speak. And again, you know, an iconic speaker is always great. Right. And that was, a, you know, a big iconic component for us. Who was going to be the speaker this year? I just kept telling people, hey, just come and see. You know, because, again, we're going to give you an opportunity to see our investment. And again, all these are students that are currently in college. Uh, and we just thank all of them for taking their de- dedicated time out of their schedules to be a part of the program. Indeed. Yeah. You listen to Access Houston, talking to John L. Cooper, the president of the Greater Houston Frontiers Club, and Mr. Roger Brown, uh, who was with UPS, the 25th annual uh, golf tournament that uh, GHFC is putting on. is going to be Monday, March the 5th. They are back in the city. It's going to be at Herman Park Golf Course. And um, your honorary chair, Mr. Babel. Mr. Uh, Babel, you know, uh, Fox 26 uh, general manager, uh, D'Artana has been our, co- our honorary co-chair for the last three years. Uh, he couldn't be with us today, but again, so honored uh, that he's taking time again uh, to be a part of this platform. You know, again, Fox 26 uh, being uh, minority uh, leadership uh, led, uh, he has a very, very devout uh, component in regards to uh, giving back the scholarships as well, as well as supporting a uh, local community. And so we're just so proud that Fox 26 is, you know, is, is branding with us and we're honored to have him on that day. Indeed. And for those who will be um, attending the golf tournament, um, what do they expect? That's normal. I mean, of course, what, what do y'all do? Y'all doing 18 holes? You do yes. nine? Yeah, uh, this is 18 holes. Again, we're going to be at Herman Park. Uh, even though we do have UPS as our presenting sponsor, uh, we do have plenty of uh, opportunities still available for corporate sponsors, host sponsors, as well as uh, additional players as well. Uh, we typically kick, kick off with a continental breakfast. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll do the 18 holes, and then we normally uh, come, come back in within a closing luncheon ceremony, and that's when the award and the scholarship from UPS will be presented at that time. And, and one, one thing on that, you know, Donnell uh, made a good point. Um, you know, it's a swing for a cause. Right. And, and that cause is what I don't want people to kind of uh, look Miss, past or, right. or, or beyond. Mm-hmm. Uh, at the end of the day, we're sending kids to college uh, on scholarships Indeed. who work hard, who, who have paved the way, who are trying to make a difference in life. So I want to make sure that people understand, yeah, it's a golf tournament. We're out there to have fun, but don't miss the big picture that is for a great cause. 
Indeed. And Indeed. most importantly, you know, for those that can't make the golf tournament, we know Monday is a working day. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not designated for all your weekend golfers, uh, but you can still donate. And so we definitely want to encourage everyone to go out to our website, greateasternfrontiers.com. Uh, you can donate uh, as much as you want to. Again, we're pushing it. We're still continuing to push the $30 donation for celebrating the 30 years. So, okay. uh, but again, whatever their heart desires, uh, again, all those funds will go towards scholarships. And you can do that at uh, ghfrontiers.com. It's ghfrontiers.com. It's always uh, a pleasure to have you gentlemen Always here. a pleasure to be here on the show, buddy. You Absolutely. Know, so save the date. It's going down tomorrow at Herman Park Golf Course, the Greater Houston Frontiers Club 25th Annual Golf Tournament presented by uh, UPS President Donnell Coover. Man, appreciate it. And good to see you, too, Roger good Brown and UPS. Well, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much, Thank KG. You. Appreciate it. Good Sunday morning. You're listening to Access Houston. I'm your host, KG Smooth, welcoming back the tennis great and legend, <laughs> Yes, she's the founder of the Zena Garrison Tennis and Education Academy, the lovely and talented, legendary Zena Garrison. I always love to hear to come in here and hear you say my name like that. It's always so nice. Thank you. <laughs> you are so very welcome. It's so good to see you. You've got um you got a lot going on. You had a lot going on this weekend and 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 today uh you've got some big things going on, but we're going to tell you about that in just a little bit. But first, I want you, Zena, to tell uh, the people of Houston about this amazing Eat, Play, Love charity weekend that's been going down. Well, it's actually going to be a wonderful event, and uh, Urban um, Crafters um, is a big the invitation. But I'm getting to actually have the opportunity to see one of my very old friends that I used to play with, Martina Navatilova, will be coming in for wow. the weekend. So, and you will be doing a clinic, but there'll be a clinic, a fashion show. We got celebrity chefs and. You know, it's going to be a really, really cool event. And the coolest thing is, is it's in the backyards of different people's homes. Oh, now that's dope. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, Eat, Play, Love. So I, I take it you were a fan of the book in the movie Eat, Pray, Love. Yes, I was. And we took uh, just a snippet of that and just kind of changed it around. And it really does talk about what the weekend is going to be about because it's it's all about having fun and you know but in a very mellow atmosphere mm-hmm. yeah so um yesterday you had uh tennis tournaments and and whatnot um how, how did you come up with the like how you wanted the weekend to go or what was the um how how was this weekend um conceived well, let me just say this. I'm just going to be honest. We have a lot of great people that help and are, that are behind it. And so um, the actual invitation started about, I think, 10 years ago. Okay. And so they were looking for a benefactor, a benefactor to give the money um, to a program. And that's how um, a guy by the name of Dave Black found ZGA. Mm-hmm. And um, from there, it's grown so much. So this year, they wanted to take it to another level. So they invited Martina in. And then we also have so many great celebrity chefs like Michael Gabriel, mm-hmm. um, you know, Jake Smollett. Um, there's a lot of other great chefs that are coming in as well. So we kind of wanted to make sure we play with the food. Mm-hmm. And then on the fashion line, which is, uh, you know, Sunday, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. going to be really cool because in that particular situation, you're going to have three students from the Arts, Art Institute uh-huh. are, get, are going to get to present their designs, which the kids and the celebrities will wear. And we'll have five very cool um, judges. Joy from the Houston Chronicle, Samet, ABC, Channel 13, Phyllis Williams with Best Dress, Matt from Venus's Line 11, and they will judge on the kids, and the kids wow. will get a scholarship. That is going to be really fun. But And we still have tickets, so you can, you know, support uh, ZGA.org and go on, and we still have tickets for, for the weekend. Wow, that is amazing. You're listening to Access Houston. We're talking to Zena Garrison with the uh, Zena Garrison Tennis and Education Academy, uh, her charity weekend, Eat, Play, Love. In effect, today they've got uh, the semifinals of the tennis match and then the Ace of Love fashion show, uh, which she was just talking about. Going back to that, wow. 
<laughs> that you're giving these kids this opportunity. Like, as yeah. you were saying that, like, <laughs> I'm looking back at Latoria like, whoa, <laughs> wait a minute. This is big. That's a huge opportunity for these kids. Yeah, it's very big. Um, actually, the president of ZGA, he actually, um, he asked Venus um, if she would be interested in something something like this and so she and we're talking about venus, venus williams. williams i'm so sorry for, the, for, for those who may not know yes the venus williams um, yes and he came up with the idea and so she wasn't able to come because she's will be playing um but she was like she would love to send someone down and so it just kind of evolved from that and it's, it's just really cool because you know that's what zga is all about is giving kids the opportunity yeah, let's talk about um, your, your your foundation, your nonprofit. Uh, for those who may not know or mm-hmm. be familiar uh, with it, tell us about the uh, Zena Garrison Tennis and Education Academy. Well, uh, we're at, it's the Zena Garrison Tennis Academy, mm-hmm. um, short for ZGA, um, at home of Fort Tennis Center, which is McGregor Park to everybody mm-hmm. knows yeah. McGregor Park, not really home before. We're actually 26 years old this year. Wow. You know, which is a, a feat within itself because most athletes' foundations don't last that, that long. long. So, so since 92, if I'm right. Yeah. yeah. So it's, but it's really cool. But, you know, it, uh, but the biggest thing is it's a free program. Yes. And the city allows us to, uh, we have a contract with the city to have the courts for free on a certain time to, you know, for the kids to be able to come out. So it's really cool. And Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays right now doing doing the school year. Mm-hmm. Um, from five to six thirty, and I I like to leave the registration kind of open because it's just like come out and allow the kids to just try it. Yeah, you know I don't want you to get you know say, oh I, I missed a deadline. Well, for the summer you have a deadline, but for right now just come out and let them try it. Yeah, good stuff. You listen to Access Houston. We're talking to Zena Garrison. Eat, play, love charity weekend happening uh, this weekend tonight or this afternoon, rather, um, the Ace of Love um, fashion show. Um, I I learned how to play tennis in high school. Mm-hmm. My grandmother was a huge tennis uh, watcher, um, fan. Um, she would be, <laughs> if she was here and I told her that I spoke to you, she would be over the moon. <laughs> uh, God rest her soul. Um, but once I, at first I thought tennis was a little boring until I learned how to play and you know the, the objective not at all uh, not at all <laughs> just how uh, just the format of it and, and 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 the objective i it it is a lot of fun for you what did tennis mean to you growing up or what what was it that made you want to uh, play well for me um i was an i i was and still am a big introvert um mm-hmm. so i was always that kid that liked to kind of do something that everybody else was Wasn't, not doing mm. um I did play um, softball, mm-hmm. you know, and I loved and I loved the team atmosphere and all of that. But it just didn't give me that mm, that right. I needed. And once I got on that court and was playing a singles match and won my first match and it was like, oh, wow, I found it because I really got at a very young age of putting in all the stuff that you put in, you have the opportunity to show it when you're playing. Yeah. And what you are not good at, you have opportunity to correct it. And I really bought into that. Yeah, that's that's dope. I um <laughs> I love everything about it. I love everything about it. And uh and and, for, and, and, and the, the great thing for young people mm-hmm. And even I apply today at fifty something years old is the life skills that it uh that it gives you um being able to you know when you have that opportunity to call that line mm-hmm. and you know you can call it in you can call Coming it out, out. Uh-huh. you know just character building you know yes. self esteem discipline um, discipline and there are, are great things that we you know our v- core values for ZGA is you know respect commitment accountability and just being able to you know really harness those things and you can't go wrong yeah, and commitment. Are there any um, young people or any uh, great success stories that stick out in your mind from the work that you've done through through the academy? Well, actually, uh, we still have our John Wilkerson who taught me how to play. He still teaches the the young kids in the program now. You know, I I like to think of think of, think of it as Houston, the kids that have come through over forty five thousand kids that mm-hmm. we've been able to data you know go back Mm -hmm. to data and know that we've gone through and i'm sure there's many more but john has touched many more lives 
I like to think of those as a success because there's been many of them that have gone on to college. You mm-hmm. know, there's been many of them that have gone on to be doctors, lawyers, professors, own their own companies. I mean, um, that within itself is a success story. Yeah. You know, McGregor Park. Indeed. And, and, and just what you're doing and what you've been doing for 26 years is definitely a success story that continues, uh, that needs to be told even more. So, <laughs> you know. Thank you for everything that you do. Hey, listen, this afternoon is going down as we continue with the uh, Zena Garrison Tennis Academy presents the Eat, Play, Love Charity Weekend. Uh, we got the semifinal tennis match, which is happening at noon today. And then uh, the Ace of Love Fashion Show, 2.30 uh, is the Ace of Love Fashion Show. And then um, they'll have the tennis finals and everything at uh, 4 p.m. And for more information, they can go to... They can go to supportzga.org and get all the information you need. And once again, there's still tickets available. So, and, you know, call us. Call call us. Call her. And uh, and thank you for coming through. It's so good to see you. I love the hair. Love it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. (laughs) You're so very welcome. And thank you for listening to Access Houston. We'll be back with more Access Houston on 97.9 The Box.